Me did the yan yan techua, and maybe I'm discovered for you, Pacum Busia for Wagana. No, me used to tap tap send, tap tap send. No fee mobile money transfer. A year easy, a year convenient, a year fast, and sounds so you free. Won't you ashe? Me discover ye map pimp. Tap tap send. In TNA, also download the tap tap send app. No, ever mobile phone so free. Let's see, Kakum Busia for Wagana for Nanina. Tap tap send. Papa no no. Another beautiful and of course exciting moment right here in the studios of Samiflex TV already seated and ready to roll. And eh, you be can sem your survey um black sheriff letter. In fact, your sermon na a ya sem kakra. Kujokin, your favorite, my favorite, in fact, our favorite spandex on this very platform. Make mention say could could it be uh, possible say um, some three music awards be a course where Black Sheriff SSA awards be brain. One more credit to that area no? and until now, almost speedy off with the same one. Now. This and many more, and of course, reasons and are things to do right after the same one. Now, no? near me, I saw you know, and only a person if you near come once and ever say the boss already is seated in the sun because what's a game now see it. Uh, so let's just move straight to Patron and welcome him. Boss, we are back from Cape Coast, man. Cape Coast was good over the weekend. Yeah, yeah, it was good. It was good. It was good. Yeah, like it was good. In fact, sad than idea. Yeah, you will have to forgive me as well as the Why? team. What, what happened to you? Because Friday, you free has said you may know. Uh huh. Best idea. Yeah, call. Yeah, we say your program here. Let's see your answer. But me jam one. I'm going. I was so so stressed out. I come in. I'm with the Mochiko Cape. Ah, come here. Me here. <laughs> so I needed the rest into it. I'm going to move and check me on that note. Oh, boys are weak. <laughs> boys no, are weak. They don't waste about that. <laughs> Boys don't get kappa. Yeah, yeah, boys yeah. wants to be men, but Charlie. <laughs> you want to bam bam. Boys can't bam bam. <laughs> but it's all good. It's yeah. all good. But Cape yeah. was good. Shout outs to my Cape Coasters. I think I keep growing fans in Cape Coast almost every day. Anytime I went to Cape Coast, it's a different feeling. Mm. And the kind of um, um, warm reception they gave us, the event mm. was beautiful, mm. the performances, everything was just spot on. And uh, we are looking at maybe going back for the Easter as well. Mm. Uh, we are still putting preparations together. All things being equal, we go to uh, Cape Coast to spend the Easter holidays there. We want to spend Easter outside Accra, not in Kou as usual. Yeah, so many people have been going to Kou. Yeah. So we are tired of Kou. If we're going to uh, Cape Coast to try it mm -hmm. out, there is a show happening at the uh, Friends Highway Pub. Mm -hmm. um, it is called The Rewind Show. Mm -hmm. They are playing um, all the hip life, mm -hmm. like the real hip life guys, mm -hmm. ex do mm -hmm. Chicago, mm -hmm. Abranana, uh, Dead Body, wow. and Nakatechi. Mm -hmm. uh -huh, like they take us back to yeah. life kind yeah. of concert. So that's what we're going to do on Easter Saturday mm -hmm. at the Friends Highway Pub. So we are inviting you. It's just close to the mm -hmm. CUD Park in uh, uh, Cape Coast. Mm -hmm. So you guys should come through. If only you'll be in Cape Coast, come to Friends Highway Pub, Bawa and his people. Great, great guys, Charlie. The place they be. And the I let that day, there was there was a great performer like Live Band. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Live favorite. Band. In Chin Chin Band. That, that's their name, Charlie. In Chin Chin Band. Great guys. The guys can play. Mm -hmm. They really gave us a, a fun time. Like, I had to I had, I had yeah, a good fun. I had good true. fun. So, shout out to everybody who made Cape Coast Sweet. We are coming again, obviously. We are coming large. All right. So, on that note, let's say a very big thank you to Karen C. Handling Cameras, Richard the Finest Boy, Flex, Lappy G, as well as um, 
the team, Gideon Neat Lamptison, everybody, and of course you, Charlie, you're a great part of it. Meeting Annie MC Berima, a very big shout out to my godmom, Dr. Dr. Anita. Dr. As well Anita. As Kofi, my bro, yeah. Kofi, Kofi. Mm. Mm. And then, Brass, I'm going to and time to um, business this year. Okay. Black Sheriff mm. has been sealed. Mm. Now, an Accra High Court mm -hmm. will rule on the mm -hmm. fate of the hottest Ghanaian artist at mm -hmm. the moment, Black mm -hmm. Sheriff, on May 9th, mm -hmm. as he has sued by the CEO of Wayne's Chav um, Chavez Consort mm. for an alleged breach of contract. Mm -hmm. According to reports, Shadrach A.J. Owusu filed this suit against Black Sheriff because the artist has abandoned him after he invested in his career. Mm. Several weeks ago, Black Sheriff signed a distribution deal with Empire, mm -hmm. an American distribution company, mm -hmm. and a record label. Mm. Days later, concerns came from the camp of his supposed manager, mm -hmm. who claimed that the artist had signed the deal without resource, I mean recourse to him. Mm -hmm. Source suggests the contract between Black Sheriff and this investor requires that the artist carries out all his activities through him, yeah. Shadrach A.J. Mm. Ousu. Mm -hmm. but, um, as a result of that, he has filed a writ praying the court to grant him about four reliefs. Mm. And there's that reliefs when he be going to it. Okay. But then before that, mm. Black Sheriff, yeah. young, talented, mm. champ. Mm. At the moment, mm. I think it's an old rainy as yeah, far as he music is, is he concerned. Is, he's God. ruling, he's ruling. No twist about that. Yeah, he's ruling at the moment. Black Sheriff, he is really enjoying his time. He's really enjoying his time. And it's unfortunate that it's happening to him. <laughs> it is highly unfortunate. You know, when this came up, yeah. some of us, because we, I personally spoke with the uh, PA mm -hmm. of the company mm -hmm. that is um, Kweku Crystal. Okay. I knew their plans. Like, I knew what they were up to. So I'm shocked that the guys with Black Sheriff, that is the RBA guys, mm -hmm. I'm shocked that they never took it serious. That is I, the road boys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I am really shocked that they, they never took it serious. I don't know why they took it for a joke. Mm -hmm. Like, I still don't know why they took it for a joke because they shouldn't. Okay. They shouldn't at all because this is you no know, like like we say in our can proverb that if the animal won't bite you, mm -hmm. it won't show you its teeth. Yeah. The guys were out there mm -hmm. doing everything possible for you guys to know they are not happy with you. Mm -hmm. Yet you decided to stay there on consent mm -hmm. till now. Mm -hmm. Now they have to do some things. Okay. Mm. All right. Thank you very much on that note. But then there are a few questions that okay. you know it's popping outside and I want to I'm sure you have a fair idea about it. Let's okay. clear that mind. Mm. In the Rith mm -hmm. um, sermon, mm -hmm. the one who did the complaint, okay. we hear... Like the Shadrach. Yes, we have mm -hmm. um, uh, the Wayne's Chavez Consort. Yeah, Chavez Consort, yeah. A lot are complaining that, mm -hmm. okay, this is Chavez Consort mm -hmm. against Black Sheriff. So mm -hmm. why do we have um, a man's name over there mm. who is a J Shadrach, a J Osu? Let's okay. explain that before we enter into it. Yeah, I think th this is a good question. I've yeah. also seen some people writing this on social media. Mm -hmm. I think I've seen Kwame Dazi, mm -hmm. I've seen NYDJ, and then maybe some couple of people mm -hmm. who are also asking the same question you're asking that. Why is the name of the company, as in Charing's Consult, why is the name not on the paper? Yeah. And what I'm hearing is that the man signed the deal, though he is the boss of the company, okay. he signed the deal between him and um, Black Sheriff. Oh, okay. And uh, yes, it is possible. I don't know why they think it is not possible. I don't know why they think he needs to sign a deal with a company before uh, they can say it is possible. Because one, whatever he signed, mm. you black sheriff, you, whether you were signing to Chiron's Consult or you were signing to Shadrach, Shadrach. you knew what you were signing to. Mm. So whether it is Chiron's Consult or Shadrach, what you signed, are you doing it? Mm. Because when it goes to court, yes, as much as you can bring issues that uh, you were not dealing with um, um, challenge consult, yeah. were you dealing with Shadrach too? Mm -hmm. Okay, it is true. You said they did not have, their company is not on the rate. Mm -hmm. That's okay. We can put the rate aside. Mm -hmm. the, what, whose name was signed on the agreement? Mm -hmm. Whose name was signed? That is Shadrach Ousu. Okay. Did you deal with Shadrach Ousu? Yes. The answer is obviously no. Yes. Okay. And the law can go ahead to um, take its course. So mm -hmm. I don't know why 
Even that is not an issue. Mm. There are main issues there. We have to look at You guys are thinking about which name signed. That is the list of the issues. It can okay. be squashed easily. Mm. There are proper issues there we need to look at. So okay. um, those people who have started that, uh, I have one of the things I'm telling Black Sheriff and his people to do. Okay. I'm sure one of them will settle that later okay. when I start the um, point. All right. Mm. So then we will go straight into the point like he's saying. These are some few points that Black Sheriff should take note before um, the court proceedings or in the course of the court proceedings. These are some few notes that we want to enter into it. Patron understands the game very well. Mm. He's been there and he knows what he's about to say. So with you, myself, let's together listen. From point one, what do we have over there, boss? Okay, so uh, first of all, at the moment, mm. they are actually praying the court to do some things for them. Okay. And these things include they want to take streams money from Black Sheriff so far. Mm -hmm. They don't want him to take any gig because if he takes any gigs, they are going to take care of either him or the person who is contracting them to play. Wow. They're going to, yes, they're going to take, take them on. And they also want him to uh, put together every investment that they've put in him. They want him, to, they want him to put together those investment or funds because to them, they will be coming for it. So these are the things like and many more. Like, he cannot even release a song. If he release a song, it has to be under them. Whoever wants to deal with them has to come through them. Mm -hmm. These are the things they are praying the court to do. But then again, like some people say, the fact that you are taking lead to the court doesn't mean you come out victorious. Yeah. Uh -huh. it, it is still going to be your word against my word when yeah. it comes to mm -hmm. the docket. Mm -hmm. But as much as this particular setting is concerned, mm -hmm. I have just six things to tell Black Sheriff and his people. Okay. I have just six things to tell Black Sheriff and his people. These are things I expect them to do. Humbly, okay. I expect them to do in these times, mm -hmm. not to aggravate their situation. This okay. is what I want them to do. Mm -hmm. These are the things they have to do. Now, number one is that they shouldn't make any commentaries about their intentions after the law suit or after the rich someone served them mm -hmm. in interviews. Okay. That is point one. I know at this stage, so many radio stations, TV stations, online portals mm. will be calling them for yeah. interviews. Mm -hmm. I know. Me, I will not even call him for an interview at this stage because yeah. it's not healthy. Yeah. And so many people, they don't care about um, the law. They don't care about his profession. So many people try because I know he was, an inter he was on some interview rounds before yeah. the letter or the rates even came out. Mm. When he grants such interviews, he should stay away from commenting mm. on the legal issues okay. or in the media circles. Mm. That okay. is point number one. Mm. Because at this stage, whatever you say will be used somewhere against you. Okay. At this stage, if you are not careful, whatever you say will be used somewhere against you. Mm -hmm. So point one is that after they have been served with the rate of summons, they shouldn't make any commentary about it in any of their interviews. They should just flee from it. And if they go anywhere, somebody asks them questions, mm -hmm. they should flee from it. Mm -hmm. They should be able like they did not even hear it. Yeah. They shouldn't comment on it at mm -hmm. all. Yeah. Because I know interviewers, the moment they ask you one and you answer one, they will no, bring yes. two. They will bring three. Mm -hmm. And if you are not careful, you say something that you are not supposed to say. Yeah. And in interviews, because they are going to court, everything you say, they are going to keep it as evidence. Yeah. No commentary about it on doing interviews. Okay. Now, point two is social media commentaries as well. Mm -hmm. At this stage, if they can go quiet on their social media platforms, mm -hmm. or if they want to even put some things on their social media platform, it shouldn't be about the issue. Mm -hmm. They shouldn't try to explain anything on any platform. There are some fans online who just come and try to put in some um, lashes else mm -hmm. uh, here and there. Yeah. They shouldn't respond. Like, they shouldn't say anything about this rate and about this legal suit. Mm -hmm. They shouldn't touch anything about it on air, online, without their lawyer's advice. Yeah. That would be the last thing they should do. They should do. And like I'm saying, fans will come after them. Mm -hmm. I'm sure now, even if he goes to post Kwekuda Traveler, someone will come and say, go to court, you Ingrid, you this, you mm -hmm. that, you mm -hmm. that, you mm -hmm. that, you that. If they say it, you should just look at it and pass. Mm -hmm. It shouldn't go and comment. Like, do you know who is at fault? Like those things. Yeah. He shouldn't even do it. Mm -hmm. 
Because everything you say, like I'm saying, someone can use it against you elsewhere. And that this, I think this shouldn't just go for <clears throat> Black Sheriff. Yeah. I, he has this Road Boys Association with him. Yeah. It should be a very big caution. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Whatever we are saying, it is not for Black Sheriff alone. Mm. It's for Black Sheriff and the team. Mm. Okay. Yes. Whatever we are saying, it is for Black Sheriff and the team. But because he is the couple here, mm. because he's the dawn, mm. that's why we are addressing him. And I'm seeing that if I'm addressing the don, then his followers should That's also really, go with it. Okay. Just as if someone says, Sammy Flex TV people, I'm telling you guys not to do this. Sammy Flex TV people should not do it. Sammy mm -hmm. Flex. The moment the person is mentioning my name, Definitely it means that us. everybody here who is at Sammy Flex TV is supposed to go by those rules and regulations as well. Nice. So this is a free advice. Okay. So just as you mentioned, mm -hmm. maybe if they didn't know, mm -hmm. now you have mentioned it for them to know categorically what we are saying, that... Social media commentaries, everybody should stay away from it. Good. There's not a time for that. Because the little mistake you put out there, someone can just pick it and the law court, they'll bring it. Mm -hmm. Did you guys say this on social media? Did you respond this on social media? And it can be used against you. So they need to be careful. Now, the third one is that they need to get a solid lawyer. A solid lawyer? Yes. Okay. At this stage, the only person they can rely on the only person they can tell the truth mm -hmm. and the lies mm -hmm. will be a solid lawyer. Okay. That's what they have to do. The only person they can rely on mm -hmm. to only talk to, to provide their documents, whatever information mm -hmm. in relation to the case, mm -hmm. the only person they have to talk to is a competent or a solid lawyer. They shouldn't go for any hungry lawyer. Mm -hmm. If you go for a hungry lawyer and you are not careful, mm -hmm. by the time you, you realize he's even teamed up with the other guys mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. they will drain them dry. Mm -hmm. They will drain them dry, like mm -hmm. they will cause havoc. Mm -hmm. So at this stage, whoever they are going in for as their lawyer should be a competent one. And I'm adding again, a solid lawyer. Mm -hmm. That's what they need. If they go for just anybody, I swear they'll regret it. Yeah. Because these guys... As they have moved forward to court, mm. they want to prove a point. Mm -hmm. they, they are not going to play. Mm -hmm. They want to prove a point because they want everybody to feel that whatever they said they were going to do, they have done it. Mm. And they will do this to the core. The guy, I hear he has money. Yeah. Yeah. So that's what I'm saying that if they go for any quack lawyer mm. who is looking for food, before he will know, they have bought him too. Mm. Yes. Because, yes, me, I, you can't trust lawyers. Yeah. You can't trust them. Before you know, he has been bought. Mm. He'll go and follow the case. He will lose. He will get his money. Mm. But he will lose and get his money. Yeah. And you, you'll be there. Then they put whatever thing on you. You are going to pay for your, the rest of your life. So they need a solid lawyer. Mm. If they go for any lawyer and they suspect that the lawyer is being fishy with deals, mm -hmm. they should change him quick. Sure. Sure. They should sure. change him. They should consult as well. All right. Now, boss, hold on. Okay. Before we move on to the fourth one, mm -hmm. um, if you would like to, or if you just joined, this is what we are discussing. Some few measures that Black Sheriff and, of course, the team should make sure they go through um, for a successful um, court proceedings like we are here now. Yeah. And please, do well if you haven't subscribed. Hit the notification bell as well so that anytime we do any upload or update, you'll be the first person to see this thing. Please like, share, and then comment. Mm. Add yours and let's do this great. Okay, so let's boss, move on to um, the fourth one. The fourth point. Mm. Okay, at this stage, when it happens like this, there will be some people who will be online. Or some of them, they might even be your friends. Mm. Fuck them. Charlie, who never, who never fuck up, make you raise your hand. Everybody mm. fuck up like them things. So. Mm. That this, case. <laughs> <laughs> we call them fake fans. Mm. They, they, they will not sit down to do objective analysis of the situation. Mm -hmm. No, they won't do that. Mm. They will never sit down to do objective analysis of the situation. Mm -hmm. They will just be talking. Mm. They will just be talking. Oh, forget about it. You know, if you do anything. Mm. Meanwhile, he doesn't even know what he's talking about. Mm. At this stage, those people too, he needs not listen to any of them. In fact, he should run away from them because mm. they are people that if he follows them, he will be taking some wrong decisions. Okay. In any case, there are those people. Charlie, dog, you know, what you want to go for? You don't want to do anything. 
Charlie, John, then be Jones, dog them, then be Yawa. Uh -huh, then think so. Look at you. Instead of them telling Charlie, so who are we supposed to talk to? Can we go and talk to this man to advise us? Can we talk to this man? No, they will just say, fuck them. Let's go and Charlie burn some leaves and mm. feel cool. Mm. At this stage, those guys are my point four. He shouldn't listen to them. The fun foolish. The fun foolish. Mm. Some of them might be very close to him. Mm -hmm. Some of them might be very far from him. Mm. But all these guys will add up to it. He shouldn't listen to them. Mm -hmm. He should be very careful how he takes his decisions, how he orders his steps at this stage. Every small mistake he does, mm -hmm. if he's not careful, it will affect him. Mm. The, the list of mistakes he will do, mm. if he's not careful, it will come back hurting him hard. Mm. So he needs to be careful here. Now, um, let me go on to point five. Mm -hmm. Point five is that they should get all their documents, mm -hmm. every necessary information in relation to their deals they had with Charis Consult together now. Mm -hmm. So contracts they signed, mm -hmm. monies that they were given. Mm -hmm. Because I hear the man, like the other guy there, Koko Christo was saying, mm -hmm. most of the money they pay them, they pay them through their bank account. Okay, so receipts. Yes. All those things are there too. The guy, they are going to use all these things mm -hmm. as their weapons against you. Mm -hmm. So they, 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 if they go and they say they didn't have anything to do with them, they can go and provide all their bank details. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you said we don't have anything to do with you. We transferred this amount of Out. money. What was it for? We transferred, and all the transfer is that way done. Obviously, mm -hmm. it will be done in the man's name. Yeah. That's why those who are saying the name is not on the, uh, the Chinese consort is not on the written, I'm mm -hmm. laughing. Mm -hmm. Yes, the man sent monies to him. Was the account in Charles Consort? Maybe the accounts are Shadrach Owusu. Yeah. So if the accounts are Shadrach Owusu, who is he? Why, is, why can't he use the same Shadrach Owusu to fight him in court? Mm. He can. So at this stage, if they are very meticulous, what they have to do is to look for every detail and also look for defenses mm. against the details. So on 20th June, blah, 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 he sent us 20,000. Mm -hmm. 20, what was it for? Mm -hmm. They should provide all these details to whoever is going to defend them. Mm -hmm. Because if they go to court and they are empty, they will not be happy. Because mm -hmm. the guys who are coming, by now, I'm fouls. Yeah, fully packed. <laughs> fully loaded. They are coming with every little detail to mm -hmm. pin you down. Mm -hmm. They are coming with every little detail to pin you down. So if you want to go into this war, then make sure that you are going with every detail. Mm -hmm. So just as they will be coming, they should also prepare mm -hmm. and look for defenses on every information that they also get. Mm -hmm. They should look mm -hmm. for defense on every information that they also get. And that will be my point five. Okay. That they should get all their documents together and information in relation to their dealings with mm -hmm. um, Shadrach Ousu and the historians consort. Mm -hmm. Everything that they have done with them. If they have it on paper to help them. Mm -hmm. If they don't have, then they are even fucked up more. At this stage, I'm sure they will raise their hand. Mm -hmm. If they don't have, then they have really fucked up more. Now, this will be one of my last comments. And it says, hold on with bookings and signing of deals. Okay. We don't know how far the case will go. Mm -hmm. And... According to some of the things they are praying the court to do for them, mm -hmm. they want the court to seize every deal that they have with any other person. Mm -hmm. So this is not a time to sign any new deal. Mm -hmm. This is not a time to even sign bookings mm -hmm. for performance or gigs. Mm -hmm. This is not a time to even take money for any business at all. Mm -hmm. Whoever has any business dealings with them, they can put it on hold. Mm -hmm. They can put it on standby. Mm -hmm. Wait for how the case will go before they pen them. Because if they don't do that and it goes to court and they are not at a good side, it means it affects them mm -hmm. and it affects the third parties that they dealt with. Okay. And this is one serious man that they shouldn't joke with. Mm -hmm. Because I know, I remember Black Sheriff in one of his interviews said he had some Zero Tours, mm -hmm. summer gigs that yeah. he'll be traveling yeah. to play. Mm -hmm. But now that this is out, there are some event promoters who wouldn't even want to see this and still deal with you. Mm -hmm. So many event promoters, when they see this and they have a deal with you, mm -hmm. they will pause. Especially when, if they really understand how legal things work. Mm -hmm. They will just sit and say, okay, uh, then we we'll give you space to settle your case. When your case is settled, we can continue from there. Okay. 
Okay. So at this stage, one of the points I would also mention is that they should hold on with any bookings, mm -hmm. any dealings or whatsoever mm -hmm. until they are done with the settlement of the matter. Or Whether out of court mm -hmm. or in court. Mm -hmm. If they are able to do it, it is fine. Mm -hmm. And I can add this bonus point that if they can settle this out of court, mm -hmm. they should push for that first. Okay. Because the more they go into it, it is not good for the mental health of the artist, mm -hmm. Black Sheriff. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, it might not come across as a major point, yeah. but this is a serious point. Because mm -hmm. when Black Sheriff, the leader, when he feels down, I'm scared it might affect all of them. Mm -hmm. Or when any of the people around them, when they feel down, it might affect some of them. So this is the time that they need to make sure everything that they have to do is for the mental health of Black Sheriff and whoever is leading them among their team members. Seven, yeah. that they should help build the mental attitude or fortitude mm -hmm. of Black Sheriff at this stage. Psychologically, mm -hmm. they should always make sure he's strong mentally. They should always make sure he's sound. Mm -hmm. Because if they joke with it, I'm not sure it will be good for them. Because at this stage, all eyes are going to be on him. His name will be mentioned everywhere he goes. Mm -hmm. He will be called here and there. Come be lawyer, fro. Yeah, lawyer, see in Shannon 10. Lawyer, coach your lawyer office. Let's go here. We are going to court. Because last time, they've been given just eight days. Mm -hmm. So just 19th, they need to take their decision. Mm -hmm. Either they are going to court or they are settling the issue. Mm -hmm. And that is what they have to do. So, Barry, if you ask me, now seven points that Black Sheriff and his team, they should pay attention to. Mm -hmm. If they do this, mm -hmm. they'll be fine. But if they joke with it, I wish them well. Let's say Easter, Easter coming this weekend here, no? um, I'm sure say, being an artist, they definitely, you beat me. Uh, They've taken some bookings. Uh, bookings and gigs like that. You know? I, I, I say, no, do they have to withdraw all this? I wish. Mm. I wish. Mm. I wish, pa. Easter okay. is from when? Friday. 16th. Yeah. I called, I actually called someone that when they serve you a rate and they say uh, from, they're giving you eight days, what does it mean? Like, does it mean that it is the eighth day that whatever the, they are praying the court to do will take effect or not? And they said, no. The moment you receive the rate, mm -hmm. everything that was stated in there takes effect. Wow. Yes, that's the education I was given. Mm. That everything that is written in there, the moment you receive the rate, mm. It means it takes place. Okay. So that is why they shouldn't joke. Mm. Some of us, we wish that we didn't want this thing to get here. But I don't know why they've allowed it to get here. It's they've allowed it to come this far. Quite unfortunate. They shouldn't have allowed this to get here. But they've allowed it to get here. Like you said, very unfortunate. But we hope and we pray for them that everything will be fine at this stage. Okay. But then one, one last thing too. Could you can on, on uh, I think one of the platforms, okay. said this, that on receiving the awards mm -hmm. on that night yeah um, at least there could have been credit mm -hmm. to the child's concert okay which we didn't see anything of a sort okay and apart from that he had one or two issues with mr logic complaining mm -hmm. about a few line mm -hmm. who never fucked up mm -hmm. hands in the air mm. could it have triggered this mr shadrach um to just f further all these things it is a yes and no answers because one, if he had mentioned them whilst he was receiving the awards at mm -hmm. the Music Awards, mm -hmm. then they would know that, okay, so despite the bad blood running between them, mm -hmm. uh, maybe Black Sheriff still has some good minds for them. Yeah. Maybe he's still in their good books. Mm -hmm. Maybe he still feels that, oh, maybe one day he would even come home for us to yeah. talk because you are still mentioning them. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately for them, Whilst Black Sheriff was on the stage, what he was mentioning continuously was road boys, mm. RBA for life, mm. RBA for life. Mm. So if you are at the other side, you Definitely feel like, oh, okay, so we, did, we are not part of it. Mm -hmm. It could trigger. And again, the next thing that you asked was uh, the, the line, it, in, the that, line in that song. I was, yeah, a, I was it, a child it, somewhere, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Uh -huh. It could also trigger, but like I'm saying, it could be a yes or it could be a no okay. kind of response. Okay. Um, uh, it could trigger if they are really petty on the issue more mm. than looking at the bigger picture. Yeah. You, you get what I'm saying? So if they really got triggered by the, the awards, if they got triggered by the song, then it means they were petty in their decision mm. more than the bigger picture. Mm. But like I'm saying, 
when they took the decision of going to court, mm -hmm. all this had not happened. Mm -hmm. So me, I don't want to say it was because of those things. Because the day the guy came for the interview, mm -hmm. they said it that they are going to take him on legally. Mm -hmm. They are giving the case to their lawyers. He mentioned more lawyers How about so so and so lawyers, mm -hmm. and the case is in a commercial court. Mm -hmm. It is not in the Boja Boja magistrate court. Mm -hmm. no. It is in a commercial court. Mm -hmm. Cry high, high court. You know? So I think that this is something they shouldn't joke with. For the industry, they will get some fanatics who will be saying this and that about them. Mm. But the fanatics can't save you. Mm. In fact, when you are, you are sued and maybe you lose the case, they cannot even support you mm. with 10 Ghana cities each. So they need to be careful. My best advice is to help them to take care of these seven points. Mm. And if they do, we will all be happy at the end of the day. All right. So this is what we are expecting. It's just quite unfortunate. This isn't happening to the black sheriff, black woman, to the fans, to the team, and then to everybody who is in love with black coal, black sheriff. And we pray things goes on well and it's smooth for him because if it affects him some way, somehow, it's going to affect the industry as well. The name officially remains MC Berima, and this is what we discussed today. Be a part of it now and forever. Sam Flex is the man who did the explanation for us. Currency the guitar, Rasta, handling cameras, which is the finest boy, Flex, Lapiji, and of course, Nana Reagan and the whole crew. We say a very big thank you to you guys. Um, let's meet some other time. It is peace, and we are out. <laughs>